Matthew um, just want to have a three minute introduction I hope that uh, the first prophetic word got passed on fear of man seemed to have shut Matthew down uh, thinking that he was only doing one part but uh, as he got to his computer to uh, download the file and process the file we told him to get back up and go back out because we got more now Roland, this is the father speaking again. Roland, we've got so much more for you. These are some of the mores that we've got for you. We've got more glory. We've got more anointing. We've got more secrets to show you. We've got more strategies. We've got more deliverances. We've got more workers. We've got more resources. We've got more opportunities. We've got more, better ways of doing things, more better. <laughs> How's that? Oh, we just use the mores, aren't we? We've got more people coming. We've got more people that will stay. We've got more people that will commit. We've got more people who will take your glory to other nations. We've got more. We've got so much more for you. We got more bigger dreams, more bigger dreams. We got more exciting challenges. We've got more exciting rides. We're taking you on a roller coaster of heaven, a heaven's roller coaster. Some huge highs and some huge lows. Yeah? Ah, oh, you're going to go through a battle that's extraordinary. The battle, the front line, is just going to extend through Mozambique, through the whole world and you're going to take it on and the enemy is going to come in like a flood like the scripture says and you're going to have to raise your banner of the Holy Spirit to overcome it we've got an exciting ride for you Roland and Heidi I'm glad you've, you're, you're the man of the house Roland I'm glad that you're the man of the house because Heidi on, the light, on her own she might get into trouble. She might have to be on the floor 15 hours a day just to intercede her way through. And uh, I, don't, I don't mind if she is on the floor 15 hours a day because nothing would make me happier than your wife on the floor talking to me 15 hours a day. I love you guys. But more than love, more than honour and praise and glory, I want you to lead like Abraham and Sarah. I want you to lead like Moses. I want you to break through like Joshua. I want to make your name great among the nations. Greater, greater than any people that have come before you. Any soul. They call Martin Luther someone who brought social justice. I want to call Roland and Heidi Baker someone who brought that to the world. I want a nation's leader to hear that Roland and Heidi Baker are coming to their nation and say, well, we may as well welcome them because if they start without us, they're going to be our enemies. I want slave traders to hear that you've moved in camp and for them to move out without even a fight. I want the corporations of the world to shudder in fear when you come to the nations where they're kidnapping children from and you stop the slavery. I want so much for you too. I don't want the praises of men. I don't want men worshipping you and idolising you, though they will. But I want you to commune with the saints of heaven for the saints of heaven to come down and commune with you, for you to meet Moses and Abraham and Isaac and Joshua, for you to meet the men who make the breakthroughs and have sit-downs with Elijah and Enoch, the two witnesses. I want you to commune with the saints as they pull you through this, as they move you to this. I want to take on the world. Who's with me? Who's with me, guys? Who wants to take down the world and shut down the world? Who wants to bring restoration to this world? Not talky, airy, fairy stuff. Not hallelujah, hallelujah, ha oh, praise God, let's save the world stuff. No, digging with shovels. Digging with shovels. 
the hard work of the gospel. Who's going to do it? Will you? Matthew's got an itchy foot. Matthew's got a strained foot, you know. Come to Heidi's conference with a really bad foot. Two times he had to have prayer just to do the praise and worship. Yeah. It's a miracle he even came down to the stage two times. <laughs> yes, it's getting better. I love you, Roland. I adore you. Father, I adore you. Lay my life before you. Oh, how I love you. Spirit, I adore you. Lay my life before you. How I love you. Jesus, I adore you. Lay my life. We heard the song, Roland. We heard you sing it. We saw the tears. We see the tears. Every time you sing and weep, power. You know? They should do an ad for Powerade. Yeah? They should get a picture of you singing worship and crying. And say, there's power. We've bottled Roland's tears. Now we've got Powerade. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good ad campaign one day when you're known by the whole world. Hey? You wouldn't be selling soft drink. You wouldn't be selling Coca-Cola own Powerade. You'd be called Spirit Aid. Hey? Father, I adore you. Will you lay down your life? Will you get wrecked for us? Will you let us wreck your life? Will you come out of Mozambique? Leave it to others. We spend 50% of your time outside of Mozambique. Will you go if we send you to equip and train leaders on the ground in all the nations? Will you take the fight to every nation's leader? Will you take the fight to injustice? These are all questions we've got to ask you. Will you do it? Matthew prays you'll get these DVDs. He doesn't need a response. But a response is good because it lets him know that the prophetic word hit its mark and Satan oh so likes to attack the prophetic people. God bless you. May you feel my blessing in your life flow through. Whether you see these prophetic words or not, they're going to take force.